Sergio live a charmed life. Living in Northern California, we really enjoy the outdoors. So on weekends, typically what we do is just kind of drive around and look at yard sales. He's very inclined to garage sales or dumpster diving. I'm a cheapskate. And their home is jam-packed with several years of flea market finds. Anytime I go to the flea market, I always come back with something. Now Ferran is over it, and Sergio has been convinced to clean house. Sometimes if I buy something, he doesn't really like it, and uh, I have to convince him that it's that it's a good deal so that uh, I can bring it home. Not a lot of stuff that could be sold at auction. Since you got most of the stuff at a flea market, okay, we were thinking we'd throw it in the van, a lot of the stuff, and take it back to a flea market. You want a soda machine? Nah. We're scaring people off. Next on Cash in the Attic. Baron and Sergio's Northern California home is perfect for outdoor entertaining, but they are in serious need of an upgrade. As you can tell, the patio out here is pretty beat up. The concrete is really old and stained. This gazebo has seen a lot better days. Back home, where we're both from, we cater to, you know, 10 to 15 people, and I want to be able to accomplish that here. I want something smaller, because that table is just way too big for that, and we could fit more chairs around it, too. When all said and done, I'd like to see just a nice, clean, colorful area where I have plenty of seating for everyone. I think between you know, 1,000 and 1,500 bucks would be a good place to, to get us going with that. Okay, Casa de Ferran and Sergio. Guys, I like your sense of style in here. Thank, Thank you. you. I understand we have a uh, yard sailor in the family. Is that true? We absolutely do. And Guilty that as would charged. Be Sergio. You Believe it or not, 90% of the stuff in this room came from yard sales. Well, I'm a garage sale freak, so I love to get anything at yard sales. You can get that for 75. So we get a lot of fun stuff, pieces of furniture that are kind of unique. 15? He wants every little thing that he can find that uh, that gives him that value and that pleasure of just buying it. Look at you that. See, look at that table right That's there. That's 175? 125. 125? Me, I like the one-of-a-kind thing. I look for more of something that no one else has. Let's see if we can turn it into that 1500 bucks you guys want, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tim has already gotten a head start in the garage. Made in China. <laughs> and his assessment is not good. We got to help these guys raise 1500 bucks for this backyard. You know, man. I've got to be honest with you. I don't think that they're going to get a lot of money at auction for this stuff. Let me ask you this, Tim. They got most of their stuff at a flea market. Couldn't we just take it all back to a flea market? And that's a really good possibility. I think that there's certain things we can mm -hmm. take to the flea market. The rest of it we could take to auction. It still works. <laughs> good going. Let's go talk to them. OK. We've been having a little powwow. Okay. Talking about the best way to raise 1500 bucks for you guys. All right. Since you got most of the stuff at a flea market, okay. we were thinking we'd throw it in the van and take it back to a flea market. And the things that are appropriate for auction, we'll find them and take those to auction. Great, Great idea, idea, guys. Awesome. I didn't think of that. What comes around there? Right. right. Can I buy stuff at the flea market? No, that's why you're staying here with me. So we get right to work clearing out the garage. Sergio, what do you think of that TV going there? For a novelty item, it might sell. I'd say give it a shot. How about this? That Coke machine. I drink a lot of soft drinks, and so I figured it'd be kind of nice to have a Coke machine in your house. You want this to go? That can go. It took both of us to get it out of the back of the truck, and there was just no way that we could get it in the house. I mean, it was just huge. Well, what are we going to get for something like this, Tim? You should start at like 75 or 100 bucks, okay. and don't sell it for less than 50. Well, that's what I paid for it, so that's what I want to get is the $50. All right. All right. Well, Tim, you carry it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're the superheroes. Thanks, John. Right, right. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, watch the hoses. Let's do all the work for us. Good going. With the soda machine loaded, we pack up the rest of the items. One more thing. And Farron and I are off to the flea market. But Tim and Sergio are just getting started back at the house. We've got to get down to business here. I noticed that you've got some really great cocktail shakers. Those here. are my favorite. For years, I've always had this fetish with finding an unusual cocktail shaker. I've been kind of hinting to my friends, you really want something to get me for Christmas. This would be a fun thing to get me. Oh, this is really great. The polar bear really caught my eye. I was hoping that it was real. Oh, they're all reproductions. Yes, uh, they are. This particular cocktail shaker, if it were original, this is almost about $1,000. So you've got these, you've got this, and we've got the Zeppelin. No, that one I think is my favorite one out of all of the cocktail shakers. That could be over $250.
Repro. That one was another yard sale find. I don't know how fake that is or how real that is. Not. See how light it is? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'll tell you. I'd say we'll put them all together as one big group lot. I was thinking that maybe they were going to be going for 20, 30 bucks each. And we'll put 30 bucks on it. I knew they were reproductions. I wasn't expecting that much, but you know, I was also a little bit disappointed that it was going to get so little. Okay, so Sergio, what are these? What's the deal with this? Well, actually, I was driving by this yard sale and just happened to see these lamps. And Farron fell in love with that one. And I actually okay. like this one because I thought I could hang this in my hallway. Okay, and how much did you pay for it? Um, for both of them, I think we paid $50. I do want to point out, made in China. Made in China, okay. okay. <laughs> that was Farron's, let me clarify that first. <laughs> I told him it was a reproduction, but he didn't believe me, so. Farron, hello, you overpaid. I think that these would be saleable at auction. I would be a little more conservative. I would say more like $25 for the pair. Got them today, out the door tomorrow at the auction. Nice patio the day after. More items that will do well at auction include butterfly table, an old end table, and a wall clock. Bringing our total to $225. Coming up, does my big idea pay off? All right. Or did we make a grave mistake? Look at this baby. You wouldn't buy that for 20? Nah. Next on Cash in the Attic. What do you think? We're desperate to make Farron and Sergio their $1,500. So Farron and I are taking the items that won't sell well at auction back to the flea market. All right, all right. Smells like a flea market. <sighs> I got a good feeling now. I got a good feeling. John and I just hauled everything out of there. Ready? Dude, we've got to sell this. I am not putting this back in the van. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will it fit? My finger, my finger. Oops. We tried to market each item, undersell it. That one's dirt cheap. They wanted us to ask 75, give it to you for 20 bucks. People came over instantly. Would you make me offer? Some gate lights. Do you have a <laughs> I like it. $10. Look at this. Look at this. It's happening. Thank you. Thank you so much. How you doing, buddy? We're working really hard here. We're going through the house. How's it going there? Farron and I barely just finished unloading the truck. First sale. Boom. Ten bucks. Sold the table. Five minutes. They sold their first thing. That's right. great. Keep up the good work. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, Sergio, I see here that we have... Oh, wow. This base. That's pretty heavy. Oh, oh and who repainted it? Baron? Yeah. That does affect its value a little bit. The base probably didn't go with the shade, it did right? Not, no. And how much did you pay for the shade? Uh, the shade we paid 50 bucks for at a yard sale. You know what? Let's just look underneath here and see if there are any markings. It's not Tiffany, but it's a Tiffany style. style okay. okay. We thought it might have been, but uh, with so many reproductions out there nowadays, I was almost certain that it was not a Tiffany lamp. What I do like is the way that this is illuminated. You see the metal work that yeah. they did here? That's nice. That gives it some age. I think that this could bring about $30 at auction. Do you think Farron will have a problem with that? He might, just because he paid a little bit more for the lampshades, so right. he might have an issue with that. So okay. if we wait, we can ask him to see if he wants Well, to. and I'll tell him, hey, you repainted it. That's right. What are you doing? You're okay. crazy. <laughs> he might be a little upset if it goes, but take it away. <laughs> I smell a sale. I smell a sale coming. All right, make a deal. Make a deal right here. Two 20s and it's yours. That's beautiful, man. At first, I was a little hesitant on taking, you know, things down uh, to the flea market because I wasn't sure I was going to get what I at least paid for them. I like the table and this table. Right. We'll give you all three for 60. Yeah. We'll buy this one. Here we go. There you go. Okay. You hold on to that. All right. Good job, guys. Thanks, thanks. Another 30 bucks. So far, so good. That brings our flea market total to $40. It's a wonderful experience. First time doing something like this. Back at the house, Tim uncovers a buffet table, an old print, a grandmother's clock, a wrought iron chandelier, and a decorative urn. Well, actually, this used to hold my great aunt Millie's ashes. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Bringing our total to $645. Meanwhile, you know, what do you think of that, man? You like that? You know, I'll give you $35. Hold on a minute. What, what, are, what are you smelling, glue or wood? No, glue. Wood, wood. 
Well, what do you think of this? You like this? We are gonna pack it up now. It ain't perfect. I'm not kidding. It's it's not perfect, but it is pretty, huh? What Make do you think? Deal? Make me a deal? No. Nah. <laughs> Dude, you know what it is? What it's is an it? ebb and a flow. It's a natural thing that occurs at these flea markets, right? Okay, okay. The tide comes up, the tide goes back. That's what it is. Okay. Now, where did you get these? Oh, my well, God. That was another yard sale find. I got both of these for $5. Well, that was a good buy. Was it? Was, yeah. These are old fire extinguishers. I love these. This is wonderful. What I love about Sergio is he's got a great eye, and he doesn't pay a whole lot for the items that he has. They're really in pretty good condition. Do you have a hose on yeah, that? Yeah, the hose okay, is still in the Okay, so the original hose. This one is missing, so that does affect the value a little bit. These are wild card. I think you're going to find somebody who's interested in fire memorabilia. Okay. That sort of stuff. Probably for the pair, you're looking at about $25. Oh, okay. Well, that's not okay. bad. It's more than I paid. Perfect. Well, this is uh, my other little uh, project car. The orange car that's in the garage used to be a racing car. Pretty much it's just sitting in the garage for the day when the red car breaks. You know, Sergio, I've got to be honest with you. All right. I walked into this garage and I thought, I hope he's not wanting that to go to auction because it's not in the best of condition. It's not going to sell. There's no way this car is going to auction, so Tim advises Sergio to find a private buyer. Yeah, I wouldn't mind selling that one at all, and I know definitely that Farron would love to see that thing out of there. And we've got to unload that soda machine. You want a soda machine? I guarantee in less than an hour, that's gone. Maybe oh, less oh, than 30 minutes. Sure. This guy wants some soda. You want some Coca-Cola? <laughs> you got to love the absolutely terrified look of strangers when you're trying to sell them a gargantuan soda Coke machine. machine. Yeah. It's a six dispenser Coke machine, people. This thing can serve 300 people. Come on, you look like you like soda. I love soda. Dude, you know how much these professional ones cost? This is like a $3,500 machine. We paid 50, I can get 60, hey. Right, that's there you go. Dude, it's killer, man. You have a great party? We'll be back. OK. Adios. And nada. Let's go. We're scaring people off. You guys want a soda machine? Make us a deal. We'll give it to you. We thought we were off there to a killer start, there but the crowds are gone, and we still have most of the items. So we decide to pack it up. In the words of the immortal Kenny Rogers, you got to know when to hold, you got to know when to fold. Only 40 bucks raised, and we're stuck moving the soda machine again. Farron and I make our way back to the house. Apparently, Tim and Sergio have called it a day as well. Uh, hey, guys. Hey guys. So how'd it go? How'd it go? Good. It's good. Got yeah. some move on, man. Yeah. All right. Even though we sold some items at the flea market, we need some action to happen at the auction. We actually went through the house and mm -hmm. found some great things. Yeah. We have to ask Farron. The Tiffany lamp. I don't know if you want to sell or... <laughs> Do you want to get rid of that or not? Sure. That brings our total to $670, still short of our $1,500 goal. But there is still one more item that we hope will drive us closer to our target. I thought the heavy lifting was done for the day. I really didn't have any intention of selling it. And then when we placed the ad and somebody answered and somebody bought it, I was just really surprised. I didn't really count on that being sold. Really, for what it's worth, uh, but great. But all our efforts pay off with another $300. I'm glad that it's out of the garage because that's more room for me, more room for my junk. We'll just have to wait and see what happens at auction. Coming up, Farron and Sergio are feeling confident with the money already in their pockets. But will they finally unload the soda machine? 25, number to 30, 30, number to 30, 25, number to 30. Next on Cash in the Attic. My wife said... Farron and Sergio need $1,500 to give their backyard a facelift. The good news, we're already $340 to that goal. But will the Tiffany-style lamp, the reproduction cocktail shakers, and that humongous soda machine help us raise the rest of the cash? I am not putting this back in the van. No way. We're about to find out at auction. Hey, the hey guys. Uh -huh. Hey, Sergio. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you guys. 
So Tim, this is wow. a, one of the bigger auction houses we've yeah. ever been in. What do you make of that? What they do here is that a lot of furniture stores will go out of business or they're clearing out their inventory. So they'll send them to auction like this. Your stuff really stands out, so I have high hopes for the auction. All right, we're excited. Great. Right. 1500 bucks, guys. Ready to get it going? Yeehaw. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. go. Today's auction is going to be a little different. The auctioneer is actually going to move around the room selling items in place. Serge, Farron, All right. as we like to say, it's time to get our auction on. feeling about the room tonight? Hey, you know, this is going to be interesting. We've got people walking all over the place. I mean, anything can happen. Lot number 1237 is a stained glass hanging lamp right there. These are the lamps that you guys picked up at the yard sale yeah. Yeah. that you overpaid for. How much well, did you pay? We paid 50 bucks for both of them. We have them estimated at 25 for the pair. All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it's lucky. On. I was a little hesitant on selling both of the lamps because one of them I actually really liked, but uh, I'm excited. Here we go. How much in this piece right there? I got 35. 39 to 35. Now 40, now 40. I was so scared because I was like, man, we blew 50 bucks on those things. And if the people turn them over, they're going to see their repros and they're not going to want to bid a lot of money for them. Now 40, now 40. Sold $35. The reproduction. The reproduction. The reproduction. Yeah. I have a bit of 75 and I have a bit of 80. Now 85. Very cool. 80, now 85. 85, you want to be 85? Boom, $80 right there, number 536. <laughs> I don't think they're worth more than 25 Go figure. They sell for $115. For yard sale fun, I'm very, very pleased. I'm glad that Tim was wrong on that. We made our money back, and we actually had a little bit of money left over. Somebody really overpaid for a pair of Made in China lamps. We also sell some of our flea market failures, like the TV and radio set, the small end table, a buffet table, a grandmother clock, and a wall clock, bringing our total to $454. Coming up, we have the cocktail shakers. I don't care who you are. Everyone likes to shake their cocktail, right, Tim? Hey, these are shaken, not stirred. We have them appraised at $30. We're going to get the party started right now on the polar bear drink shaker. This the auction house has decided to sell them individually instead of one big group. 50, he says. Now 60, 50, 60 dollars. I was very attached to them, and I really wanted to keep them at the house. 50 now, but a 60, 55, 50 now, but a 55. Sergio I, I was very hesitant on really letting them go. Yelling all done, all done, all done, all done, 50 now, but a 55. So 50 dollars your way, sir. One I was most disappointed to see go was the blimp. I got 20, 30, 20, now, but a 30, now 40, 35. 30 now 35, yelling all, all done all through, sold $30. It went and I was pretty sad to see it go, but maybe I'll find another one out there. The cocktail shaker Whoa. sold well. Tim, how'd we do? The whole total came to $150, which was outrageous for these reproductions. Wow, that was awesome. And Sergio was quite pleased. I was so excited because it went for a lot more than what I thought they were actually gonna go for. Coming up, Farron challenges Tim's lamp appraisal. He's totally repainted it. That does affect its value a little bit. I don't care what Tim says. I think putting that patina look on there did help it. Not good. Not good at all. And are we going to have to load that soda machine onto the van one more time? Oh. Find out next on Cash in the Attic. I'm We're halfway through the auction, and Farron and Sergio have already made $604 bringing them that much closer to the new patio. And Sergio has already got some big ideas. The Tiffany-style lamp. I've seen people looking at this thing. Tim, what's your estimate? We're looking at about $30 for this. Ah, come on, 40. Come on, 40. <laughs> I'm hoping for 60, so let's do it. Here we go. It has a bit of 75, now 100. 75, now but a $100, now 125. 100 has been now 125. The beautiful bronze lamp. 100 now but a 110. 100 now but a 110, but a 110. 100 now but a 110. Y'all and all done all through. 100 now but a 110. Sold 100 all the bill right there, number 536. Yes, <laughs> wow, the bidders must not have minded that the base was repainted. Even with your paint job, didn't really affect it. That was $70 more selling for $100. That is great. great. I don't care what Tim says. I think putting that patina look on there did help it. We also clear out a butterfly table, an air conditioner, an old print, a wrought iron chandelier, and a decorative urn bringing our new total to $1,002. Man, this auction is heating up. 
I think we need a fire extinguisher, huh? Absolutely. We got two. That's right. Sam, what's the estimate on a fire extinguisher? For the pair of them, we have a minute. $25. Who give me $25 for it? $25 bill. $25 bill. I got 10, 15. 10 now with a 15. 10 to 15. You can scrap and make money. I bought those at a yard sale. $5 for the pair. 10 now with a 15. Now 20. 15 now with a 20. She's going to the scrap yard. 15 now with a 20 with a 20. 15 now with a 20. Y'all in all done all through. So $15 a piece right there. Put that fire out. Those fire extinguishers sold for $30. $5 over my estimate. Wow. From $5 for two to 30 bucks for the both. More money in our pocket. All right, guys, coming up, we have that big commercial industrial Coke machine. Dude, we've got to sell this. I am not putting this back in the van. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, my finger, my finger. You want a soda machine? This guy wants some soda. We couldn't do it at the flea market, but we have to do it here. It has to go. Tim, what's your recipe? We have it in it. $50. This is what everybody wants. This is what everybody needs. I'm really excited and hope that somebody will give us at least what we paid for it. Who give me $300 for it? $300. $200 bill, let's go. Would have been two, two, would have been $200. I was really bummed out when it didn't sell at the flea market. I was a little nervous that it might not sell at the auction. $100 bill, I got 50, 75. 50, now with a 75. 70, now with a 75. What I love about the soda machine is that there's any number of different places you can sell $50, it. $50, 50, now with a 60. 50, now with a 60. Through 60, now with a $70. Sir, you're the winner. 60 bucks right there, number three. Sixty bucks. Right. <laughs> Yay! I am so glad that that is gone. Thank you. I was really happy that the soda machine sold for that because I didn't want to take it back home. What a relief it is! <laughs> Yeehaw! This has been a fantastic auction. <laughs> Add in the money from the car and the flea market work to one thousand four hundred and thirty-two. Very cool. Yes. $1,432, that gives us a good head start. We're excited to getting my first um, gathering together. New patio, here we come. We did have quite a good shopping spree. Picked up some new chairs. And also a bar that just kind of went right with everything. We also picked up a fireplace. It's looking good. I have to admit that I had some yard sales, but I did Tim real proud with what we got. And we also had a little leftover for a little extra. It was a nice big stainless steel barbecue grill. We're quite happy with what we achieved. I can't wait for that first party we're going to throw. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you, Cash Patrick. Patrick.